Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Uh, in this one, I'm talking about why social media marketing and running a social media marketing agency uh, is inarguably one of the best opportunities if you want to work from home, if you want to make your own money and design your own lifestyle and quit your job or whatever it is that you want to do in 2019. And let's get into it. So this is coming from the perspective of somebody who at any given time is educating, you know, thousands of people on the topic and has personal one-on-one -on -one mentorship students like five or six at any given time that are paying me for advice on this stuff and I'm currently designing a program on all of it. Like I know what I'm talking about here. Grew up in this space. One of my clients, I'm going to be driving like a million in revenue in like the next year. And like, I've got all kinds of crazy stuff. Like, you know, coming back to even, this is like where I started, like just selling small little social media services here and there. I actually started off as a photographer. So technically, you know, I was selling a social media service because I was helping them fill their Instagram feed. Uh, so like this is where I've started at and it's just kind of grown from there. Um, of course, then I went into wedding photography, which isn't really social media marketing, but I kind of reverted back once I found e-commerce and then from e-commerce, now I'm here at social media marketing because I realized that the marketing stuff is really where I can make the most money and have the most fun. Um, so let me talk about why it's such an important business model, not just important, but it's also the easiest one to tap into. And if you're a total beginner, total newbie, there's some stuff you're going to have to learn, but with literally just a month of studying, you are an invaluable asset to really any business. Uh, and so I sort of made a similar video a minute back, but I'm kind of just going to copy what I said there and say in this context, I think I talked about how to get your first client and you can watch that video if you want. Um, and it's a lot of the same stuff, but in this one, I'm talking about like, you know, it's a market shift. Um, so for example, like the reason social media marketing is such an important business model and such an easy to start business model is because the world is shifting from brick and mortar to the internet. The most profitable businesses are internet-based businesses. And that's just an inarguable fact. And the internet has been here only for, you know, 20 years really for the public. Uh, and only the past five or six years has it really been like growing at a crazy rate. Uh, and now I think it's, what is it? A fourth of the planet has access to the internet and almost the same amount of people have a cell phone. And you're tapping into a global network, a global market. And if you can share a business, share with a business your ability to help them get more customers on a digital platform, then you are an invaluable asset. So all you really need to know how to do is just run basic ads, you know, or maybe post on social media accounts and know basic digital marketing. And from there, you instantly become an invaluable asset. And that's why it's such an important, or I keep saying important, but I mean like invaluable and I mean easy to tap into business model is because so many businesses need it. And not just businesses, but even maybe individuals, maybe just freelancers need more leads. Uh, one of my buddies, for example, runs a digital marketing agency and he got a real estate agent, 130 something leads at like two and a half dollars a piece. And you know, if you can get a real estate agent, that sort of return on their investment, you are like a god to them and they will pay you as much money as you ask for, right? And that's why it's so valuable because business owners need to focus on delivering their service. If they're good at doing what they do and then you are the person that brings people in the door, then, you know, who wouldn't, who wouldn't hire that out, right? And I was even meeting with a digital marketer today and I learned some stuff from him and he runs his own agency, he's got a handful of employees. And he told me, look, here's how you pitch yourself. You say, hey, you can either hire an employee to do this for you and you pay them 60 grand a year or something, or you pay me three to four grand a month and you're not, and you end up paying quite a bit less, right? Uh, and that's because we don't want to work full time for a company. We want to be contractors and run our own business. And that's why we're willing to charge less, right? It's because we want to save them money and we want to make them money and we want to live our own lives. Um, so it really works out. All you have to know how to do, literally all you have to know how to do this, there's two types of offers. There's value offers and there's convenience offers. Value offers are offers that grow the business. Convenience offers are offers that remove work from the business. For example, a convenience offer could be like managing an Instagram page, whereas a value offer could be like running ads to generate leads for real estate, like I said earlier, or helping them build out better sales funnels digitally. So like for a car dealership, you can create sales funnels to generate leads for certain car types or whatever, right? Um, that's a value offer. You can sell that for a lot of money. 
one of my mentors, um, he's actually, I'm not going to say his name on this channel, uh, he runs a, a multi seven figure uh, social media agency and he started off simply by getting on Facebook, running some ads, getting leads for, I think, roofing like jobs and then selling the package of leads for 10 grand to a local roofing business. And he was an individual freelancer at the time and he realized, wow, there's a lot of money here. If you can just, if you know how to drive leads in a specific market, you can make a lot of money. Not just lead gen, but there's a ton of other stuff you can do. That's called lead gen. That's when you sell leads to a business, but there's a ton of other stuff that you can do. There's a ton of other stuff that I teach and have experimented with and have tried. Um, and then if you know how to deliver that service, the great thing about knowing how to deliver marketing is that then you can market yourself really well. So to be a digital marketer and sell marketing and then know how to market your marketing business, you just become like a freaking, you just, you have so much power over your business at that point. It's crazy that there are digital marketing agencies that don't know how to market themselves, right? So if you do it right and you apply what you're teaching to your customers, to your business, then you have this, this amazing feedback loop that just works out into the future. So it's an incredible model because really anybody can get started. I, I genuinely believe that as long as you know how to use social media, period, and you're familiar with the platforms and sort of the context of each platform, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all these different platforms, then you can become a very powerful social media marketing uh, freelancer or business owner, agency owner, whatever, within a matter of you know a couple weeks, really. Uh, you know, one of my students that I worked with one-on-one -on -one via coaching uh, started his business, literally landed his first client within the first two calls. In two calls, we have him his first client and he's making about a grand a month from that client. And it's beautiful. It's super easy to do because business owners need it really, really badly. Um, so that's why it's the best business moving into 2019. There are other things like e-commerce is also really, really a great opportunity because you know, the internet in general is growing to have a brand on the internet. It will naturally grow even if you don't really do a whole lot to it. Um, you know, same with, for example, I mean, there's all kinds of opportunities out there, but this is the core best one because you learn some of the stuff that will fuel really any other venture you'll ever do in your lifetime because the internet is sticking around for the long haul. And so if you learn this stuff now, then you are an early bird. And by the time that this stuff is popular, like not just popular, but is being used by literally everybody 20 years from now, however long, then you will be on the front lines of the, you will be one of few select people that know how to turn this into cash for people. Imagine being that. Imagine being like, right now, I'm in Indiana. Indiana is typically pretty rural. It's kind of countryside. It's kind of, you know, Midwestern. You know, it's kind of boring. Uh, and because of that, not a lot of people around here, not a lot of people around here know digital marketing. And though I don't do a lot of local stuff just because the market's kind of low around here, if I wanted to dominate locally, I would very quickly have like almost every business working with me because this market needs it. It's not, you know, San Francisco. We don't know what the heck we're doing with Facebook around here. Most Facebook pages suck. Most Instagram feeds suck. Nobody's really using a Facebook pixel on their website. Like there are so many businesses that I can help, uh, but I choose to go digital just because it's easier in general and I don't have to meet face to face with the clients, which just saves me a bunch of time. So different topic completely, but you get the point. You become incredibly valuable if you know what you're doing. So thanks for watching. I hope this sort of explains why social media marketing is something that I'm focusing on moving into 2019. And I hope that I can help you get started. I hope I can be a resource for you in starting this business because it's just such a fun thing to get to do if you do it right and you systemize it and you don't spend your whole time doing it. And that brings me to another point, which I feel like I should have included, which is there are so many people teaching this business model that it's almost impossible for you not to know how to do it. There's so many courses, there's so many free educational people like myself out there teaching it. There's blogs, there's just books on books about social media marketing, on, on marketing, on human psychology, on these things that matter when you're running this business. It would take, I'm not even kidding, if you sat down and just studied for like three and a half, four hours a day on digital marketing stuff in general and just started going down rabbit trails and figuring stuff out, by the end of like a month and a half, two months, you would be like invaluable as a freelancer or as a business owner to really any business on the planet, literally immediately. And I've seen this personally, like I will be just casually talking to a business owner and uh, I just bring up like, hey, have you tried this? And I'm like, they're like, no, we haven't. You can do that. I'm like, yeah, you can do that. And, and like, they're like, they want, they're like, how do we get you to work with us? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't. I don't really, you know, I don't really work with your type of business, but here's some books you can read. Like you are valuable. And it's, it, to put a price tag on that is super easy. So I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you enjoyed. 
and uh, subscribe, turn on notifications, do all that stuff, leave a like if I brought you any value, leave any comments if you have any questions at all. And if you want me to coach you in the process of getting this started, let me know. I have a link down in the description and you can book a free 15 minute call with me. Uh, sometimes I turn off that link when I'm getting too many calls. I leave it on, eh, you know, 20, 30% of the time. Go ahead and click that and let's get started. I'd love to work with you. I don't have a course. People are asking if I have a course. I don't have a course. I'll make a course when my brand gets big enough for it and also when I learn how to teach this stuff properly and deliver results consistently for people, then I'll make a course. But until then, I'm just gonna, you know, build my brand and do coaching. So thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna shut up now. See ya.